Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and with a website called StormTheCastle.com, you know I got catapults, trebuchets, and siege engines. This one's my latest. It is the Solenoid Catapult. Fun project. It's, I made a small one. You can make a big one. Let's take a look at it in slow motion. All right, this is part of a big... I got a lot of catapults and trebuchets. Let's do the introduction, then I'll tell you a little bit more. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. So I call this project Merging Modern with Medieval because it's a catapult, which is medieval, and modern because it uses a solenoid. So yeah. And this is part of a larger project that I call the World's Greatest Cardboard Castle. I am finishing up that project really soon. It's got wire, it's got lights, it's got automation, a, a drawbridge, portcullis, music, servos, fun project. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep updated or check out my website if you want to keep updated on this. And of course the catapult, you've got to aim it. It's got a little motor so I can rotate the turret. <laughs> fun project. I put, I don't know, 100 hours or more into this whole uh, card world's greatest cardboard castle we'll see more but let's get into the solenoid catapult now a solenoid is just a little activating device this one's 12 volts you can use batteries and did you ever um buzz into like a an apartment or a building where they have to buzz you in and you hear that buzzing sound bzzz, and they buzz you in that's a solenoid does that it's a really simple little thing you 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 put power to it, and it the moves in that arrow in that direction, and then the spring brings it back in the other direction, and it's ready to go again. And that's what we use. So really simple device. I'll show you how we wire it up. If you want to make one, you got a battery, you got a push button, and the solenoid, and that's it. And that's the power for this catapult. And the reason why you use a little push button is because you don't want to continuously power the solenoid. You just want to give it a little bit of power for like a second. Bzzz, and then that's it. And then that fires our catapult. We'll take a quick look here. Little push button that I use on this project. And, and I use this little battery pack with some rechargeable batteries to power it up. I'm also using this battery pack to, rechar to charge up a whole bunch of stuff within the world's greatest cardboard castle. Which reminds me, I'm coming out with a book on how to make the... Fantastic cardboard castles, not your average cardboard castles. But let's take a look at how this catapult works. If you want to make one, I'll explain it to you. Here's our solenoid, right? Just a little bar that moves like that. And here's how it operates on our catapult arm. All right, just pushes it and that's that. The spring pulls it back. Really, really simple. Now, an interesting thing here is this little, see this little point here? You can't connect those physically. It has to free flow or else the catapult won't work because you're changing a linear motion into a circular motion. You have to um, just not connect them, just allow it to push. And see this distance here, that little bit of travel? That is transferred into a longer travel on the catapult arm. So you generate some speed, see, this, this amount of travel, that small amount of travel, and say it's 50 microseconds or um, milliseconds, then that's how you generate speed and you can throw things. And if you want a faster catapult that throws things further, use a longer arm. Now this small amount of travel here that the solenoid does has a much longer arc of travel with a longer catapult arm. So make a longer arm if you want a faster um, catapult that throws things even further. So that distance is equates to that distance in the same amount of time. I'm sure there's a mathematical formula for that. If you a mathematics person, you know, uh, post a formula for me on in, in comments. But here, I don't want to take the catapult out of the castle. It's, it's just too much work. But I made a little one here to show you. Simple, simple, simple. Just got to build a little thing like this and then mount the solenoid so it pushes on that arm. Simple as that. So, if you make one, send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of uh, contribution, which I always do. I've done to thousands with thousands of people. Let's take one more quick look at the world's greatest cardboard castle. Like I said, it's got music. It's got lights. It's got statues. It's got rose windows. It's got a clock tower. Um, portcullis that works, drawbridge that works, a moat, uh, uh, and dozens of lights. And if you want to build catapults or trebuchets, they're all on my website with step-by-step -step tutorials. 
on all kinds, including a 10-foot trebuchet that's really quite the monster. See that? Six-pound boulder. A tiny little popsicle stick catapult. And a game to go with it. All right? Isn't that cute? That's a great project for kids. And a catapult based on Da Vinci's plant. Da Vinci's plants. I just sp I spent this summer. I was in Florence. I saw some of Da Vinci's stuff. It's really quite amazing. That's a Da Vinci catapult. Thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button.